This is a groundbreaking study in a couple of different reasons. Number one, they are looking at the underlying susceptibility to, to the genomic causes of PTSD. Why are some individuals more susceptible than others and how do certain traumas linger and not basically dissipate over time? But also too, in the same light, what they want to do is they want to utilize tools which are available on the open market nutritionally that could possibly help alleviate the genetic or epigenetic uh, aspects of the disease per se or the PTSD that can help people easily and now, especially in a non-toxic fashion. So with that in mind, let's refer to the study primarily as a pilot study. It is an animal model. So keep that predicated uh, as far as that's concerned, as well as we don't have the equivalent to human dosage and so on and so far and so forth. But at the same time too, it's a pilot study animal model. It may be wise in order to see human trials in order to basically delve into that information. Albeit though, just the same, if something that needs to be explored with a medical professional, the information is out there on its own. And that's why I bring it to you via gratitude to the great research. So let's begin as follows. A new way to treat PTSD. Nutritional supplements offer hope for a non-toxic treatment that reverses the underlying genomic cause of the disease. A team of scientists basically examined this question using an animal PTSD model and discovered a new way for treating PTSD that might be applied to humans. Their findings were recently published in the Nature Journal of Molecular Psychiatry. Now, pretty much this is going to be a narration. Everything laid, laid out was beautifully laid out in actually the subject matter of the article itself. Uh, until we see the full published study, we're basically going to read through. But still just the same, it is enlightening, promising, and yielded a pretty powerful outcome just the same. To proceed, to move forward. The researchers first mapped epigenetic DNA methylation marks in the brain region, which is important for PTSD. They found distinct epigenetic differences between animals that were exposed to trauma and were resilient, and those animals that were exposed to trauma and were susceptible and developed PTSD-like behavior. So they have the two categories. So what makes this group less susceptible than the other group? Henceforth, they proceed forward. The researchers found that an important epigenetic enzyme that transfers methyl groups onto DNA, DN is Nancy M, T is in Tom, 3A, is reduced in animals that are susceptible to PTSD. The researchers also searched for groups of genes whose methylation is altered in the PTSD susceptible animals and found that one group of genes is controlled by ret retinoic acid receptor, which is activated by vitamin A. Let me reiterate that a little clearer. Controlled by retinoic acid receptor, which is activated by vitamin A. Indeed, delivering DNMT3A or retinoic acid orphan receptor gene in the animal brains, and now slow down, reverses the PTSD-like phenotypes, suggesting that these genes that are differentiated, differentiated, met, differentially methylated are responsible for PTSD behavior. Injecting brains with genes is still not a feasible therapeutic option. Therefore, the authors tested whether nutritional supplements that mimic the activity of the genes could treat and reverse PTSD in susceptible animals. Since DNMT3A increases DNA methylation, the researchers use a natural product that donates methyl group S adenosylmethionine, otherwise SAMe, and to activate the retinoic acid receptor, they treated the animals with vitamin A. So here they are. Now keep in mind, this is to injection, at least for what I could tell from the supplemental information, SAMe and vitamin A. That's what they utilized. Don't have dosaging, don't have timing, so on and so forth. Again, pilot study. But still, tools, when we find out how to use right, can yield tremendous benefit for many individuals. But to proceed forward, they found that combined treatment with the methyl donor, SAM, or s methionine, or SAME, and retinoic acid reversed PTSD-like behaviors. To conclude, the data suggests a novel approach to treatment of PTSD, which involves combining two natural products that modulate the epigenome. Importantly, the epigenetic treatments 
See, it's kind of weird you're going to hear it referred to as an epigenetic treatment. Reverse the underlying cause of the disorder on DNA, and thus, and I'm just going to read verbatim and not interject any publisher bias. So this is their words, not mine. And thus serve as a cure rather than temporary relief of symptoms. Since these nutritional supplements are relatively non-toxic, they offer hope. For a non-toxic treatment of PTSD that reverses the underlying cause. Now, just to keep in mind as follows, uh, this we skimmed from the supplement from supplementary information per se, so you could see exactly how the SAMe or was and vitamin A per se was administered. And also, too, I want to bring this to your attention. Sometimes great research, as we see here, or enlightening research, we say, takes a long time before it actually makes it to the surface. And I wanted to bring this up, this kind of trivia-like information up because it's important to see exactly how long good research sometimes takes to be reviewed and then released. Per se, here we are, November 2017, all the way up to July 12, 2021, to here today, August 2021 on video. Again, it's very insightful as far as the timing it takes for some of these publications to actually... Uh, make it to the purview of the public itself, but still just the same an incredible incredible breakthrough in discovery of two nutritionally available tools That could yield literally hope for an untold number of individuals That may be suffering from PTSD itself again further trials will basically elucidate that information But in any case I wanted to make sure we brought it to your attention today so basically it helps motivate in the future for this great, great research to be pursued in greater depth and in human trials. Again, gratitude number one to the researchers. Look how long it takes, again, how long it takes an article sometimes to make it to a uh, publication. And so it requires a lot of patience and therefore they deserve a lot of credit. But still, gratitude, thank you. I hope to look, look forward to y'all seeing you have I can speak. I'll enunciate. Look forward to see you all once again next week. Humbly, catch you next time. Gratitude. Thank you. And see you next time. See you then. Bye.